Hello and welcome to Interactive CAD and Tech. Um, today I'm going to be going through a very simple tutorial on how to model a bottle cap in SolidWorks. Uh, so just to get started I've opened up a blank uh, part file and then from there I'm going to go to Sketch, not Revolve. I'm going to go to Sketch and click on the front plane. So from there I'm going to draw a straight li uh, horizontal line then a vertical line and then a line at an angle. Nice and easy to start and then from there the inner diameter of the bottle cap is 26.5 so I'm going to change that to radius uh, by dividing it by 2 to make it 13.25 and then I'm going to make this 3.1 and then this 4 mil in height but it won't fully define it yet so from there I'm going to make the diameter of the bottle cap in, 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 in its entirety is 30 mil, so I'm going to make this 15 because it's the radius because I'm going to revolve it. So from there, now I'm just going to put um, a fillet, sketch fillet, on here. So I'm going to just go up to the sketch fillet tool, make it 3 mil, and then get both, click both entities and tick that. So now we've got the profile of the bottle cap. In, I'm going to just close this sketch with two lines, so it'll let me revolve it. So I'll exit that, and then go to Features, Revolve, and now it's automatically selected the sketch. I'm going to click the axis, axes that I want to revolve it around, which is the center line, and tick that. So from there, I'm going to click on the top of the bottle cap and put a sketch on that face. Uh, I'm going to draw a construction line from the origin all the way up to the edge of the cap. I'm going to make this a construction line. I'm going to draw a three point arc from this edge to this edge. And I'm going to put a point in the middle of this arc by going up to point, clicking it anywhere on the line, keeping my finger on control, selecting the point I've just put on the, on the arc and selecting the arc. I'm going to put midpoint. So now that point's constrained to the middle and I'm going to make it coincident with my construction line. So now it's starting. So now I can start to constrain this arc. So I'm going to put a length there of 4.71 mil, a radius of 3 mil, and then I'm just going to put um, I'm just going to convert this entity, so I'm going to go up to Convert Entities and select the outer circle. So now I've got a line trailing all the way around. I'm going to trim it down so it's only across my arc. So I've gone on to Trim Entities, keep my finger on the left trigger, uh, sorry, left trigger, um, left mouse button. And then now I've got my profile I want to cut out. So if I tick that, exit the sketch. And go to features, extrude cut, and cut that. So now from there, I want to linear pattern that around the the edge of the bottle cap, this cut. So to do that, I'm going to go up to view, show hide, temporary axes. I'm going to go to linear, uh, sorry, not linear pan, pattern, circular pattern, direction. So I've clicked the axis that I want it to set the temporary axis in the middle of the bottle cap, and I'm going to go features, and I'm going to select in from the tree what feature I'd like. So I've selected revolve one by accident there, so I'll delete that out. What feature I'd like to revolve round? So tick that. So now it's starting to look a bit like a bottle cap, and to finish it off, I'm going to go up to shell, so features. And then go to shell and I'm going to make it 0.5 mil. So I've selected the bottom face because I want to remove that. And we'll make it, oops, I'll make it 0.5 mil. And tick that. So now you have your bottle cap. So if I get rid of the go to view and I get rid of the temporary axes and let's make it a colour that we all know from our generic, very popular either beer or drinks brand, so I'll make it red. So this is like a world leading um, cola that you all know. So I hope you found this little 
quick tutorial helpful on how to draw a bottle cap. If you have, please subscribe to my channel and like the video. Um, and thanks for watching.